Screwed up the world, make it a better place for you and me and for all the rest. The rest of us who want to thrive and make it better way of life. Fruit up, fruit up. Hello, hello, welcome to Sasha Soul Studio. From the car today, <laughs> the Target parking lot. <coughs> day 67 of blogger 90 um topic is psychedelics i really don't have much to say i don't have any experience with that i can only say that i am quite interested in the subject and i'm just touching up on it brush like you know like seriously on the surface um it's quite fascinating it's very very fascinating but the more i learn the more I listen, the more I study, um, the more I understand that it's not quite necessary. It's not necessary at all. It's not necessary at all. I mean, it's cool, it's fun to do, and it's good that, um, especially if you do the natural psychedelics, you know, like mushrooms, or, oh, oh, yeah, I, I, <laughs> oh, yes, I, I ask. <laughs> <coughs> then it doesn't really hurt you at all so but still it's a crutch 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 any of them and all of them um and you can get dependent on them you know even though it's not a um drug or i don't consider it a drug um from what i study about it um but um it still might be addictive as far as like just want to learn more want to learn more but still from what i hear it's gonna tell you like when to stop and you just won't be able to do it seriously even if you want to <coughs> and it's almost impossible to overdose <coughs> if possible i don't know maybe it's not impossible not not possible at all but yeah <laughs> um, I mean I was thinking about maybe doing something like that in the future especially uh, I I was come um, but now that I'm expecting again it's postponing it for it for it, the, the, the experience or the trial thing further and further away only um, because you have to be able to you know be away from your kids at least for at least 24 hours depending on what you're doing <coughs> um you have to find a very knowledgeable and experienced person to do it with to watch you um and you know I have nothing against it. I think it's a cool thing, but obviously, I am not gonna be able to do it for at least next five years, at least <laughs> maybe seven, eight, because <laughs> my kids are always with me twenty four seven, and even if they go to school, it's gonna be like what half a day, which is not enough. With ayahuasca, you have to go. Uh, like for four or five days on this retreat or whatever and you know be away from your family uh, which is not doable for me at all <clears throat> so I'm okay with that and I'm pleased to learn that it's absolutely actually not necessary and you can get there and this way more attractive to me getting there like where you can get by means of psychedelics getting there on your own without any crutches like they call them and I agree with this um, with this description <laughs> um, <clears throat> I would love to get there on my own even though it takes a lot more work a lot more practice a lot more just true like like real work work gotta clean yourself physically 
um, mentally, spiritually, constantly work on yourself, improving, 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 raise, raising your vibrations, um, and you'll get there. Eventually, you'll get there. Same place and more, and, and actually stay there. The state you're gonna stay there, you know, or you're gonna be able to jump in the state anytime you want, um, rather than use the crutches and then be, being lazy about working on yourself. So I kind of prefer that way, honestly, where you have to do it on your own. I think it's way more fun, way more fun. It's quite seductive. It's quite tempting to go the easy route, but it like feels so much more like accomplishment and um, you know pride and I don't know just feeling good that you did it on your own I love doing stuff like that so we'll see we'll see I'm definitely not against it and I'm not dying to do it <laughs> so if the opportunity presents itself at the right time with the right people with the right circumstances everything lines up then uh, why not especially things like a, oh yes ayahuasca ayahuasca because <coughs> it's mm, you probably not gonna want to like oh i want to do it again i want to do it again because it's nasty because <laughs> it comes with throwing up and just not feeling good I don't know so it's not a pleasant experience it's great what you see what it what she shows you mm, but it's not like you're gonna be like oh, I gotta do it again tomorrow <laughs> like you need a long break from it <clears throat> regardless so I'm definitely fine with that if if it if it's the right circumstances and timing and everything so yep share your experience and your thoughts about it um, what exactly you tried and what it gave you do you regret it you know so Leave the comments below. Thank you guys for checking me out. My channel. And spending time with me. And I will see you tomorrow. <gasps> tomorrow, tomorrow. Oh, topic, topic. Let's talk about the difference between being hard-headed and like hard-headed, stubborn, and um, I don't know what, what it's like driven because they I don't know persistent persistent being persistent or stubborn what is the difference um, is there any difference uh, where is the, the this um, boundary because I don't know to me it's really hard to put my like to put them strictly separate them and be clear what's what but I like to talk about it thank you guys I will see you tomorrow bye fruit up fruit up